What's going on everyone? This is Tony Monk, your host with the most, and you are tuned in to the new wave of sports that is sweeping the nation. But we're not just angry, we're spot on. This is Spot On Sports. Welcome back to another episode of SOS Discussions. I am your host, Brianna Franklin. To my left, I have the lovely Sequoia. To my right, I have Tony Monk. Let's hop right into it, guys. All right. Antonio Brown has been on fire on Twitter, going back and forth with Juju Smith-Schuster. So, I have to ask you guys, does this Twitter beef in any way tank his legacy? Well, I would say for someone to, you know, tweet out, yeah, keep your emotions off the internet. <laughs> Um, I, I do believe he was swimming in the pool of his own that, that Sunday afternoon because, like, why were you, um, Hall of Fame level, you know, all well-rounded player vet, you know, why would you throw shots at a, at a young cat that probably looked up to you at some point in time, you know what I mean? And especially for someone that always supported him and stuff like that, I just feel like it was unnecessary. And it just shows that, um, are you jealous? Are you envious? Is, what, what is it, you know? Like, what is it that you, more do you have to prove to try to steal someone else's shine? And I feel as though, um, as far as tainting his legacy, I feel as though um, when it comes to uh, legendary things and your legacy period, I feel as though that is more than what you do on the court or on the field. So whether you're on the field and you're the best, you know, wide receiver there is, or you're the best running back there is, safety there is, um, you're the best point guard on the basketball court, it's still what you do off the basketball court as well. So there's a difference between LeBron James' legacy. He's an entire humanitarian, you know, on and off the court, period. And there's a difference between, you got people like Lamar Odom or, you know, uh, Metta World Peace. You know, people that was problematic, you know, on the basketball court or on the football field as well. So I just feel as though you have to be more careful with um, what you do off the field and how you handle your feelings and emotions. Say, hey, check that at the door. You no, know, he that's just your, your, your younger bro. Like, you know, why are you throwing <laughs> shots at him? Bro. Yeah. Ladies, this is what happens in Clash of Testosterone. Let me tell you. See, <laughs> being the lead dog. Been the lead dog for years. You've been the guy, and then this young cat. Cool. I, see, I told him when I covered Juju before. I said he had the coolest name in the draft. Look, he comes in and he shows, hey, I can be a number one receiver. I can be the guy. I can eat off Antonio Brown's plate and still get full while he's possibly starts. So don't get me wrong. Eddie still had the numbers. Juju was just a part of the equation. So. For him to, for his teammates, for AB's teammates to start to migrate towards this young guy. And, hey, I feel you. Well, I was Big Ben's guy when it was me, him, and Lady Hunter, even probably before then. And for him to just come in and be still in his thunder, I think AB, oh, first of all, he overreacted. And you get this out of these team of receivers. Yeah. T.O., Randy Moss, Odell Beckham, Dennis Bryant. It's, 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 a, it's a trend every single time. And for AB to be the lead receiver for years, the last about five or six, probably, yes. It's, this, this, he built the tag for our, my, my, my guys that didn't, they didn't vote me MVP for the team. So. They don't know what to pass the torch. I yeah, think. It's, it's so. Like yeah. a winning game. Oh, we went in playoff games. Oh, we going to Super Bowl. Then you got the nerd. This man who looked up to you. Now, I scrolled through AB's Instagram. I still see the little picture of him and Juju. Pick your boys. What happened with all of that? So now they they, they, they chose their pussy, which was Juju. They didn't pick you. Okay. So, my thing is, 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 is looking at him. It's staining his legacy. It's staining who he is. It's letting us know AB isn't. The guy who we thought he was. And going to the Raiders, honestly, if, if things go wrong with John Root and company over there, I bet you can expect the same thing. So we are officially like one as long as I'm going to Yeah, man. He sounded like he wanted to wait for the wine. He knew his beard. He was all weird and stuff, and then just heard his hair, weird, whatever color he had it. And it's just screamed. <laughs> it was it was, was A B C. All right, it was Antonio Brown, no A four, all time elite receiver. He was just the guy that just wanted, wants his money, and 
attitude is gonna reflect when we say Antonio Brown. Oh, the receiver, that dims everybody else's uh, light and let just to make his shine brighter, and it doesn't. And I'm glad you're making all these cute videos of Derek Carr and stuff too. Y'all remember that? Remember that? Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. Be sure to check out more shows here on this YouTube page, such as SOS Discussions or My Point Exactly. And most of all, keep watching Spot On Sports. It's a new wave of sports that's sweeping the nation. We're not just accurate, it's spot on.